So the Sound Transit Board of Directors will meet today to discuss six site options for a new light rail maintenance facility, which could potentially mean the closure of a brand new Dick's Drive-In in Kent. So we have Jasmine Donovan, president of Dick's Drive-In Restaurants, here to talk about this uh, issue. You guys have been dealing with this for the last several months uh, with this threat that Dick's Drive-In, which just opened in Kent a few months ago, could be demolished. Where does it stand right now in terms of talks with Sound Transit? So um, just on Monday, Sound Transit released the summary of their scoping report for the potential sites for the operations and maintenance facility in the South End. Mm -hmm. And in that report, there was a lot of feedback from the customer, our customers, the community down there in Kent on where they felt that the operations and maintenance facility should be and where it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. And the, the overwhelming majority in the high 90 percent uh, are against using the Midway Shopping Center where our restaurant is for the operations and maintenance facility. Mm -hmm. And most people who had a preference on where to put it uh, would like to see it on the Midway landfill. Right, these are live pictures here from that new location we're talking about. So today, uh, Sound Transit uh, board members, uh, Mr. Uptegrove, uh, the King County Council member, is introducing an amendment that could take this site off of the location list. How do you feel going into this vote? Are you optimistic? I'm hopeful. I think we've made a very good case. Obviously, the community supports us on this, but also so the Sound Transit Board has made it very clear that having transit-oriented development, which is residential and retail areas around the light rail stations, is extremely important to them. It's about moving people, connecting people through transit, and if these station areas aren't um, populated with local businesses, walking areas, residences. They, what's the point of this light rail? But shouldn't they have told you about this before you open the restaurant? I just can't get my head around how all this can happen a few months after you open the restaurant. So it was a big surprise to us and that was disappointing. Um, we found out about it uh, from our friends at the city of Kent, actually, not from Sound Transit directly, two weeks before we opened the restaurant. So it was a huge surprise, especially after a large community participation in selecting where that restaurant would go, right. huge community s support. We had 200 people show up for our ground breaking. We had thousands of people show up for our grand opening. I, it wasn't really a secret where we were right. building. Sound Transit mm -hmm. does say that they just didn't have the list at the time when we reached out to them. And part of the reason why you guys chose that particular site in Kent is to be close to the light rail station, right? And then yes. in turn, you I later find out, yeah. <laughs> This could actually hurt you. Yeah, it was it was really unfortunate because not only did we choose a site that was close to the right light rail station because we wanted to be one of those local businesses that you could access from light rail, um, but we also were willing to invest in more property than we needed. So we actually own eight acres in that shopping center, wow. and our hope was we could sell our extra property to help finance opening more restaurants in the region. Um, but we can't sell that property now and while we're still under consideration for this site. And uh, here before we go to I mean, Dick's is just such an iconic uh, it's an institution. Shane, it's an yeah. institution, exactly. How do you feel about the outpouring of support? It's, I, I don't know if I've ever heard of this many customers reaching out to a business to support them with something like this. We're so humbled and so honored and so grateful that our community in Kent has, and in Des Moines and just the entire South Sound has just wrapped their arms around us, even though we're brand new to that area. And uh, we definitely um, were just thrilled with the neighbors and friends we have down there in the South Sound. So. Well, we'll see what happens at this committee meeting as we move forward. Jasmine Donovan, thank you so much for being see here. See you at lunch today. Thank you. All right, thanks. See you there.